All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise on the glory to Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekapadash. That one is the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone taught us the truth. And how you teach us to the hope you like. That's around the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother Iowa Lumber from the gym at Chicago branch. In Chicago, come back at you with another lesson. You know, Lord willing, I hope it be at a fine. You know, I'm just make this, you know, straight and quick to the point. But straight to the point. I'm just entitled to this lesson. You know, reality is about to hit these people hard. Because in reality, these people don't know what's going to happen. Famous, pestilence, you know? And that's just to name a few things. So I got this clip I'm going to play real quick. No plan B for us, man. This society is literally weeks away from collapsing. More than likely. Once it starts going, you know, and look, there's about to be no food. There's about to be no gas. In every, every end of the world scenario, apocalyptic movie, you see a parking lot on the streets. All the cars are sitting there. So they're going to hit it with that EMP, and all the cars are going to be left there. All right? And it's going to be no food. And these people are actually going to start eating each other. All right? Capitalism was done in the past. So I'm going to tell you what's going to be going on. There's going to be a lot of robbery. People are going to be robbing people for food, water, supplies. It's going to be a lot of rape. These women are going to be getting gang raped, raped by 50 dudes at a time. Throw me out, here, out here in these streets. Right. Real talk. It's going to be no 911, no police. We're going to see how independent you are, right. how tough you are on those things. That's right. 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 So it's, yeah, you're right. great. And it's going to be a lot of that. Okay? And then it's going to be a lot of people that's going to be infected uh, 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 with all these viruses that they got uh, that they, they're about to release, man. It's going to be utterly nuts out here, right? The cats and dogs going to be running around. The people are going to let their dogs go. They're not going to have a heart to kill them. They won't be able to feed them anymore. It's going to be it's going to be like a nightmare, like a nightmare's dream that you just can't wake up. You're going to escape. You're going to survive one block. People are going to okay. You're going to turn another block. And it's going to be this shit going to start all over again. And right, and that's the reality. You know, a lot of you people that talk shit about the prophets, you know, you know who you are. You know, the ones that, you know, talk shit about the prophets. You know, starting with our elders and our apostles on down. You know, poking fun at us. Saying, look at the guys in the, in the, in the dresses. You know, you, you, I'm talking about you niggas. You know, reality is going to hit you the hardest. Especially you women. Especially you start, starting with your so-called black women. You know, hot, hot girl summers. You know, commend adultery against your husband. You know, a lot of you people is going to catch it the worst. You know, because reality is going to hit you people real soon. You know, as the elder was going into, you know, a lot of you people are going to be in each other. So this is the book of 2nd Ezra 6 and 22. Because the elder, what? He mentioned, you know, famines is coming heavy to this place. You know, a lot of you people are going to be eating each other. This is the book of 2nd Ezra 6 and 22. It says, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly uh, be found empty. And right, that's the start of a global famine. Because what you have right now is a thing called hyperinflation, where the food is, you know, it's recent, reaching, you know, ridiculous prices, you know? Because at my job, you know, coffee costs almost, what, $12 for a small thing of coffee. You know, lunch meat costs, you know, uh, like 10 to $12 for a small thing of lunch meat, you know? And this reports all over the globe that what? That a lot of foods is not reaching these store shelves. Like I said, a lot of you people is going to catch it the worst, especially you women. The ones that, you know, that's stuck in La La Land, thinking nothing is not, uh, it's not going to happen. You know, yeah, how about Shimei Osha got something in store for all you people? You know, that talk shit about the prophets and different things, you know, of that nature. But let's continue. Because what? In that time and in that day, a lot of you people are going to be looking for answers. But it's no, those answers ain't going to know where to be found because we're telling you those answers right now. So reality is going to hit you a lot a lot of you people hard, you know, to your destruction. Uh, this is the book of 2nd Ezra 15 and 18. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the house shall be destroyed. And it says that men shall be afraid. Right, it says men shall be afraid. So how much more women, you know? And these people think nothing is not going to happen. You know, that's why the Lord said, what, he's going to make this proverb to cease. You know, a lot of you people is going to be that example, you know? The ones that talk shit, the ones that thought nothing was not going to happen, you're going to be that example. You know, you're going to be, you know, giving up to the sword. And that sword consists of what? Famines, pestilence, 
you know, the noisome beast, the sword. A lot of you people are going to be giving up to that. It says, and men shall be afraid. So if men shall be afraid, how much more women? Uh, Second Nature 15 and 19 says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Right, for great tribulation because of the lack of bread. So the friends you thought was friends, you know, they're going to rob your ass in that day. And they're going to kill you in that day. They're going to take what you have in that day. You know? That friends, brothers, you know, family shit is going to be out the window. This is the book of Amos 8 and 11. I'm close out with this one. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh about Shemiah Shaddai. I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but hearing the, uh, the words of the Lord. Here's the point, verse 12. It says, They shall wander from sea to sea. It says, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the uh, of the Lord. You how about Shemuel Shai shall not find it. Right. So all you people that scoff, all you people that scoff the prophets, all the elders and the apostles on down, that's you know giving you the answers right now, and that disregarding those uh, those answers, you're gonna be the same ones who for those answers in the day, but it's not gonna be found. You know, so a lot of people are gonna be destroyed. So with that being said, I'm gonna try to find and the elders and the apostles great news and all titles the truth. So next time, while a Baba Baba.